the gang is all here this Wednesday <laughs> for the first time this week, just in time for Justin's Garden Goodies. Yeah, oh, Nina had yeah. to get back just in time. You know, mm -hmm. Of course, it, I can never miss Garden Goodies. goodies. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know, it's getting that time of the season, late in the season, where uh, we start to get squash and melons. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I grew some melons this year. Let's take a look at the pictures, and you'll see, look at that huge patch. Doesn't even look like my yard, does it? No, it doesn't. It wasn't. Oh. No, I found oh. a spot out in the country to grow the melons, and that's the key. You got to have a lot of space. So yeah. you you grew this. It's just not in your yard. Not your in my okay. yard. That's right. Yeah, uh, I grew these melons and a, a whole variety of them. You can see the patch there, and they mm -hmm. spread out like crazy. And <laughs> it was good ground. Um, and if you don't have a lot of space, you can use a trellis. Uh, to have them grow and vine up mm. on a trellis. Interesting. Uh, yeah, but you can see I have the honeydew melon and I have the musk melon, the orange one there. Is that cantaloupe? Uh, or cantaloupe. Okay. People confuse musk melon and cantaloupe. They're, they look almost exactly the same. They yeah, they taste do. almost exactly yeah. the same. The cantaloupes are actually a subspecies of musk melon. But anyway, okay. the musk melon turned out pretty good. The toughest part about growing melons is how do you know when they're ripe? How do you? Right? How do you know? Well, there's several signs. You know, you can check on the outside to see if they change color. If the stem on them is loose or comes off easy, uh -huh. that's usually a sign that they're ripe. But huh. taste the green one first. Okay. okay. The honeydew. The honeydew. There you see a picture of the melons. And you'll notice that one is not very ripe. No. Hmm. It, it, it has, it's not it, super sweet. It's almost flavorless. Yeah. Right? yeah. And, I, and But believe it or not, almost all the signs showed said that hey it's time to pick it it's ripe i picked it and that's just a problem with you have with melons the, the key is mm. grow a lot of melons and yeah. then you can test one <laughs> if it's not ripe then you eat the other you grow a lot and then you're bound to get you know <laughs> at least one that's good. josh taste the orange one We're good. taste orange but okay okay justin i gotta tell you you're pulling me out of my comfort zone today because that? Usually when there's like a melon bowl, I'll only eat the red watermelon. I oh, won't eat the green and the orange, orange. but really? I did it. Oh, I did oh, it. I love okay. cantaloupe. <laughs> well, the cantaloupe or the musk melons, they do, they, they do have a different flavor, of course, yeah. but um, those really turned out sweet. That was the yeah. perfect time to pick them, but that's mm -hmm. the, the trouble. How do you know when they're ripe? Yeah. I used to think cantaloupe came from antelope, believe it or not. So. <laughs> I was little. That's a I fun story. A little kid. kid. <laughs> <laughs> now today I've learned they, they're a melon. You did they're not eat melon. antelope today. You ate no. cantaloupe. <laughs> Thanks for bringing these in, Justin. You got it.